Hello everyone, I hope you are doing good and I welcome you all to another video of Math Tangle 2024 solution for page 3 and 4. So, I hope you all are ready for today's problem. It is going to be really, really interesting. If yes, don't forget to hit the like button below. Okay, so let's see today's problem. So, it is going to be the fifth problem that came as three marker in the recent math Kanto exam. Okay, let's see what is the problem. Problem is, Justin wrote three consecutive four-digit numbers in a row. His sister erased some of the digits. Oops, very naughty sister. What are the missing digits from left to right? For example, 230, 214 and 215 are three consecutive three-digit numbers. So what are consecutive numbers? They are the numbers which are in a row. Like 1, 2, 3. They are consecutive numbers in a row. Correct? Next to each other. Correct? So if I ask you, are these consecutive numbers? Yes, they are because they are one after another, right? They are in a row. But what if, if I ask you, are these consecutive numbers? No, they aren't. Because after 70, we have 71 and then 70. So they are not in a row. They are skipping a number in between, right? So they are not consecutive. And if you will see, very carefully, this question is very, very easy. They have given us an example, right? 213, 214, 215. Let's look at these three numbers carefully. Now, if you will see, in these numbers, only the last digit is changing. 213, 213, 214, 214, and 215, 215. So, 3, 4, 5. That's the only thing which is changing in these three numbers. Rest 2 is same and even 1 is same. That is 100's place and the 10's place. So, this is what we are going to apply in our question as well. In consecutive numbers, most of the time, one's place will change. But sometimes, tens place or hundreds place can also change. And that will happen only if the number is like this. 199, 200, 201. You can see over here that from 199 to 200, we have added one and the digits have changed. Right? But on the other hand, if we see these two numbers, everything is same. Just one's place has been changed. Correct? So only if we are starting the consecutive numbers from 99, right? Then only the digits are going to change. Other than that, the rest all digits will be same except the one's place. Right? Now in this question, let's see. This is one's place. Right, as it is a four digit number, so ones place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place. And it's the same thing in all the numbers because all are four digit numbers. Right, now if we start from the last digit, I told you one digit will change seven, eight, and the next number will end with nine. Right, seven, eight, nine. That is what consecutive numbers are. Correct? Now, as we can see, the last digit will end with 9. That means we can eliminate the options which are not ending with 9. That is option number B because it is ending with 6. So, bye-bye B. And we can also eliminate option C because it is ending with 8, not 9. Correct? So, that is also eliminated. Now, we are left with A, B and E options. Now, as 
it has not been started with 9, right? We have 7, 8 and 9 in one place. We can copy paste the other places. How? Let's see. Now in 10th place, we can see they have given us 9. Correct? So we can copy paste 9 over here and over here as well. If we check 100th place, so we are having 8 and here as well 8. So that means in the very first number, we will have 8 again. And can you tell me now which digit is going to come under 1000th place? I am going to give you 3 seconds. Let's see who can get this right. 1, 2, 3. If your answer is 4, clappings for you. Yes, it will be number 4 because in the third number, it is starting with 4, which is at a thousand place. So in all the numbers, then it is going to be 4, 4. And now you can check as well. At. The first number is 4,897. Next is 4,899. They are in a group. They are consecutive, right? Easy, isn't it? So we let's see which one is going to be our correct answer. 489, 4, and then 9. That means our correct answer is option B. I hope it was easy. And if you like today's video, don't forget to subscribe our channel and do join our WhatsApp community for daily exam updates. And that is it for today's video. I will see you in the next video with another question. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.